Hi guys, in this video, we'll take a look at remove linked list problem. Difficulty level is easy and the problem description is we have to remove all the elements from the linked list which match a particular value. So our example is 1, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we need to remove all the elements whose value match or whose value is 6. And so our return list would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So straightforward problem description. Let's head to the whiteboard. Let's see how we'll tackle it and then we'll come back and run the code. So let's do that. Okay. So we'll consider this example from the problem description to understand more about this remove linked list element problem. So if you guys have worked with linked list, then this is a easy straightforward problem, right? All we have to do is make sure that the node dot next points to the next element so we skip the element that we need to remove right so let's see how we'll do that so in this example we need to remove six right so what we do we take two pointers we take node and we take previous as our two pointers and we'll play around with those pointers so what we'll do is at node we'll check if node is equal to six or not that's the value we need to remove and if it's six then we'll make sure that previous dot next points to node dot next instead of that node. So let's see how we'll do that. So if our node is six, in this case, no. So both move to next places. Node moves to next node, previous moves to the next node, which is previous to the node. Is this six? No. So again, they move. So previous comes here, node comes here. Now over here, node is six. So what we'll do? We'll do previous dot next is equal to node dot next. So this will go away, this will go away, and it becomes like this. So this is our linked list. So we technically remove six from the linked list. And we'll keep doing that until all the sixes are removed. So let's go to the last node because since this is the last node, the next is null. So let's see how that will happen. So our node is here, previous is here. Now node dot value is six. So what we'll do? Now this is technically null. So we'll remove this, we'll remove this, we'll remove this and previous dot next will be null. So that's how we remove six if it's the last element of the list. So if we apply this logic to the whole list, all the sixes will be removed from our list. Now this is simple, easy. The only thing we need to uh, take into consideration is couple of special test cases. So let's look at those, right? So what we do uh, to solve this is we apply the same logic that we just uh, tried out on this example. However, we just take care of one small thing is when our previous and next are following each other, when uh, we try to remove this node, we say previous dot next is node dot next. Uh, node will move, but previous will not move. So previous pointers remains here until node is moving to a good node. So in this case, this is also two. So previous is still on one. So this will will say we want to remove this one also. Previous dot next will become one. So all this will be gone and then node will move here. And now if there were more nodes, if node is moving here, then previous would move here. So that's how we take care of uh, nodes that are ad adjacent to each other. I can explain this or I can show this uh, when we go to code, like what this actually means. Now, third one, uh, again, this is also related to code. Since uh, it's a linked list, we'll be writing a while loop where previous will be null and node will start with the head of the list. Now, in the cases where we need to remove heads itself, we just need to make sure that when we are removing head, we are not losing the start of the list or like we have some reference that we need to return. So again, simply what we do is we create a dummy head and we make it the head of the list or start point of the list. So again, we'll take a look at this when we go to the code. So you guys will understand that how this test case is handled. Okay, guys, this is our final code for remove elements from the linked list. So as discussed, we have like a dummy node which we make it like before the head so we have like a placeholder and what we do is when we are returning we make sure to return dummy not next so if you remember our third test case we had to remove the head of the elements 
So in that case, even though we'll remove the head, the W not next will always point to a node which is a valid node. And we have our node which is the moving node and then we have a previous pointer which will always be previous to the node. So uh, what we do is if node dot value matches the node or the value that we need to remove, we make sure that previous dot next is node dot next or else we make previous equal to node and then we move node to node dot next. So as long as, uh, so previous doesn't move to node, previous doesn't catch up until the node value is good. So as we discussed, right, if you have two adjacent nodes or two or more, previous doesn't move. Previous will stay at the good node until node says that, yes, this is a good node. Now previous will move. So I'll take care of that. And then, uh, yeah, node will just move to next and then you return dummy dot next. So uh, there you go. That's the code. Okay. So this is the second piece of the code that I want to refer to. So I just want to show that we can have same logic implemented in recursive way. So as you can see, we're calling remove elements method again and again for each node. And uh, at the end, each method would return that if it has the node, which is we need to remove, then return head dot next, or if it's a good node, then return that node. So you can do the same thing recursively. However, we need to keep in mind that every recursive call is placed on stack. So we are using that much space. So there would be space complexity for that uh, solution. So as long as you can do it iteratively, I would prefer iterative solution, uh, but recursive is also there. So it's a short and sweet code. So whichever code you prefer, uh, they both are there. So that's it. Uh, that's the code for the problem. Uh, feel free to try it. Uh, I'll put the link to the code in the description below and uh, you guys let me know if there's anything. So if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, as usual, let me know in the comments, your feedback, suggestion, everything, and then subscribe to the channel for more videos. See you in next one.